terrible stone 2022 earthquake ground deformation geyser eruption yellowstone is about to erupt Yellowstone is a very active place in terms of seismicity. Typically the University of Utah Seismograph Station, which is responsible for the operation of the Yellowstone Seismic Network and analysis of seismic data, places 1,500 to 2,500 earthquakes annually in the region. The past three years have seen seismic activity at the lower end of that spectrum, with fewer than about 2,000 earthquakes located in 2018, 2019, and 2020. In 2019 there were only about 1,200 seismic events located. In 2021, Yellowstone sees a return to its higher than average end, with 2,773 earthquake sites. The biggest event of the year was the M3.6 earthquake that occurred beneath Yellowstone Lake on July 16. The event was part of an earthquake beneath Yellowstone Lake that covered 825 earthquake sites. A swarm is a sequence of earthquakes that occur around the same place in succession, and on average about 50% of all earthquakes in Yellowstone occur as part of a swarm. In 2021, there will be a total of 27 earthquake clusters, and these account for about 65% of earthquake locations throughout the year. Most Yellowstone earthquakes are very small, more than 90% are in the M02 range. In 2021, there will be 10 M3 events located in the Yellowstone region, and over 150 M2 events. These numbers are fairly typical for Yellowstone in any given year. The abundance of seismicity is due in large part to the interaction of groundwater with existing faults, two things that are abundant in the Yellowstone region. GPS data do not detect significant changes in surface deformation throughout the year. Data from the caldera show that the region continues to shrink, as it has since 2015. Each summer, the subsidence stops and can even turn into a slight uplift as runoff from spring snowmelt seeps into the soil, which absorbs water like a sponge. No deformation was detected by the GPS station near the Norris Geyser Basin, but there may be a slight uplift to the south of Norris, along the northern boundary of the caldera. The area is a historic uplift site, the last of which occurred in the late 1990s. An increase that may be detected by an Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar INSAR, a satellite technique that uses radar images from different dates to see deformations occurring over a span of time. A comparison of data collected in September 2020 and September 2021 reveals an uplift of approximately 1 to 1.5 centimeters, less than 1 inch, along the northern rim of the caldera, just south of the Norris Geyser Basin, during this time period, in addition to the known subsidence of the caldera. INSAR cannot be used when there is snow on the ground, so the next opportunity to explore that signal is in June 2022. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists stay busy throughout the year, conducting experiments, analyzing data, deploying new instruments, and mapping geological deposits. Of particular note is the installation of a continuous gas monitoring station in the Gunning Lumpur area in July 2021. This new station, the first of its kind at Yellowstone, and with real-time data available on the YVO website, continuously measures the concentrations of the four gases. The most frequently emitted by volcanoes, H2O, CO2, H2S, and SO2.
Preliminary results showed that the gas in the area is dominated by water vapor, approximately 92 to 93 percent, and CO2, approximately 7 to 8 percent, at concentrations about twice normal air levels, with only approximately 0.02 percent H2S and no CO2. This is consistent with results from other areas in Yellowstone. Geyser activity is relatively muted in 2021 compared to previous years. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, experiences 20 major water eruptions throughout the year.